good to see you Hunter and welcome to the next video of the Make-A-Wish series. Today we are in Lagers Point shooting some pheasants. Thank you Fisher Barnett for the idea. The only over and under shotguns are the F3 Blazer. Since I used the standard already on the Ptarmigans the other day, today I will use this engraved premium version. Here's the first pheasant I'm looking at and it says core 27 to 30. That's the best estimation I could wish for. So of course I'm gonna go for this. I've signed up for uh, the pheasant competition. So you can uh, really run up to them. You can whistle or you can just run into them. Actually I wanna make sure I'm gonna get it. This weapon is not super great for longer shots. I better get it the first or second shot here before I have to reload. Goes a different way. But I got it anyway. I got two shots before I have to reload, so I better hit them. And here is our first bird. Over 28 is always good. 27.6, almost 7. That's a good start. And I'm ranking 7th already in the competition. But like I said, I really need a better one in order to get anywhere near the top. Pheasant call down here, down the hill. Let's see where it, it is at. Pretty much straight ahead. Let's just see if there's any others. That's a rather small one. And an easy shot from the side. Twenty-five is a good score for a two point one kilogram pheasant. Next call. Up ahead, this is the middle of Loggers Point. They stay on top of these, on these hills here. They don't go down to the woods very much. They can, you will find them there, especially when they flee. But usually they come back up here. That's where they're at home. What do we have here? Another male flying in over our head. Tiny one, almost ran into this one. So let's see, the, f the male that called is this track here. Two point two to two point eight, that's a good size. I'm gonna guess 25, 26 ish. Oh, that's actually pretty good, even over 26. Actually glad I, I hit this bird, this female. A lot of times I'm missing with this. This is not a good shotgun, like said, for longer shots. This one quite surprised, scoring over 26. Somewhere around 27, I would say. No, just barely 26. <laughs> but anyway, it was over 26, so the estimation was correct. Just at the bare minimum of it. And here we shot the female. This is at my bobcat tower, where I have my bobcat collar. It's the middle tower of Loggers Point. Look at all these hawks. They're a pest. 
But down here we have a bird. We have a pheasant. I don't think I can shoot it from here. Except it w it's going to face our way, but right now it's walking away. And if I whistle, it's just going to be very far away. Oh, there's more hawks. They are everywhere. And they scare away the bobcats. The bobcats flee from them. By the way, did you know that coyotes will make the pheasants flee? Pheasants will trot away from them. Let's just shoot this one here quickly. So when pheasants sit on the ground and coyotes trot in, the pheasants will trot away. Twenty five point five even for this two point one kilograms. That's pretty cool. I do have some video footage where coyotes come in and the pheasants trot away. Why don't I put this at this place here so you can see how this works? <laughs> So there you go. The next time you see a nice pheasant, make sure to not call in a coyote. Although, as you've seen, they don't really go far. It's just a nice gimmick. Very interesting to see. Still haven't found a good one for the competition. There's a bobcat calling, but I had a pheasant over here calling. And whenever you have a call, what you can do is just switch away to the binos. And the circles will stay quite a while on your hunter mate. I still have them. What is it? Ah, oh, it's a small one. Where are you? Is there multiples here? What always works is even if you're close to them, you could lay flat on the ground, wait a while, and then call again, they would respond. Didn't I get spotting information? Yeah, there it is. Still not good enough. But we'll pick it up anyway. Very nice how they tumble now. How they no longer drop like rocks from the, from the air. Twenty-three. Got more pheasants flying around this tower here. This is really good for pheasants, just as much as for bobcats. Not sure where it is now. I picked up tracks before from calls over here. Now let's just go for it. Should sit there, sometimes they run. If it would sit on the road, or somewhere in the woods it would run. Here it's gonna be there. Are you any good? No, not really. Another mid-sized pheasant. We'll have to keep looking for that big one. Although, of course, even if you would hunt for a day, it is not guaranteed that you would find one. 22. <laughs> and I'm finding double sheds. But can you tell what this is? <laughs> this must be mule deer, very small, very tiny antlers. 53, would, it would have scored what a tiny buck this would have been. 
And just in case you wonder, why is this guy now wearing different clothes? Well, I picked the wrong loadout, and I only just realized now that I'm wearing the wrong clothes. Two pheasants here. One looks good. One looks pretty good. The other is small. What's the estimation here? 27 to 30. And a better weight than the first one had that we shot. So this could actually get over 28. I'll try and shoot them both, but of course the focus is on the big one. <laughs> so I'm missing a lot of birds, but I had the one that I wanted. Not sure if I hit the, uh, the other bird down there. There's more pheasants calling down there. That might be the fleeing male that we didn't get. So let's see. Let's look at this one. Hopefully it's going to score over 28. It does score over 28. 28.002 so we're going to use the fancy poses I will use this so-called small game pose let's see if we can lift this up here grab it by the head should turn around so that the tail feather is visible in the Sun and I think that looks good yes so here's our pheasants scoring 28 so much for shooting pheasants here on loggers point we hit some and we missed some. I've been using the Blazer F3 over and under custom grade V. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.